I sold, I sold Scarface. I first, you know, I, I'm the first one uh, when I first put out Scarface back in the day, right? That Mr. Mr. Scarface. I put it out back yeah. in the day. So I had on a cassette tape. Was selling cassette tape for yeah. $5. They had one song on each side. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. That had to be that but, had to be like 88, 89, yeah, 88. somewhere around there. What, what was all little riff between like you and Scarface and then you and Pimp C? Everybody was just mad at you. Man, I'm like, you know Don't what? rest Pimp C soul. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, Pimp C. What up, Face? Man, I just talked to Face Day for us. They called and asked me because he had heard Is he I doing got better? Sick. He doing better now. We yeah. just talked the other day. We done got past all that now, you know what I'm saying? But it, it was it, it hit me by by storm, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, Pimp C? You talk to shit, you know I beat your ass, or I beat Pimp C, but you know I beat his ass. I'm like Pimp C, y'all, y'all don't fuck with me, y'all don't, y'all ain't on my level be talking no shit to me. Come, come on, come on, where I'm at then. You, you talking all that goddamn shit. Come on, <laughs> you gonna see the little chore that you know how, who I am. Yeah. Don't play with me. So when Face did, I'm like, damn, Face, you little me. Why would you want to tell on another brother anyway? Behind some talk, and yeah. you ain't got, you know, then y'all just talking shit. Just, but the way that I figured out. This old man told me, say, Troy, man, what they're doing is assassinate your character. That's the only way they can bring you down because you didn't go through nobody. You did you use your own man. You built your own stuff your own your own way. You did everything your own way. You used your, all your own money. So in order for them to do something to you, they got to assassinate your character. And once they assassinate your character, they can bring you down. Hey, I never even... I never even thought about that. Little you, Troy think, you think a face would have stayed with you, you would have had him just as big? I'd have had him bigger. Think so? I'd have had him rapping with other people and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have been doing a lot of stuff. He'd, he'd, he'd have been bigger. His face should be way bigger than he is. Have a lot of things Agreed. going on. Agreed. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? And that's my boy. I'm not talking down on it. I'm talking what reality is. You know right. what I'm saying? I agree. With my mindset, you know what I'm saying? If I could rap like T2 or Face or something, I would be bigger than like Jay Z now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all the things that I, w- I have done and things I was doing, you know, I had the clothesline. You know what I'm saying? I you more like an executive. You, yeah. you, I'm a business man yeah. inside my mind right here. I just right. don't rap like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when Faye started talking about me, I'm like, wow, man, this is crazy. But then when I holler at Jay, Jay say, man, it ain't no more wax, man. We just doing this on wax, man. It ain't about nothing, man. We, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to sell records. Yeah. I'm like, that's all it is about selling records. But then you get the people in the neighborhood start believing what they say, like they, they're a prayer book or something, you know what I'm saying? And then they want to start talking bad about me. I'm like, okay, y'all can talk bad about me, but come bring it to me. Yeah. Don't don't talk about me on social media and hide behind that. If you got a problem with me, I'm I'm always out somewhere. Every down to every car I got a flamboyant. Hmm. It's out there. So I'm not hiding. <laughs> If you just one got a problem, bring it to me. Let's let's get it on the pop. I dig it. And that that it. never happened. You see what I'm saying? For for them to be for them to be the biggest out, you know what I'm saying? And what they say, it goes. But we never right. we never had we never had a fight or nothing. We never got into it. We ain't never been at the club bumping heads or nothing like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause it was about being on wax. So it was us blowing it up, making it worse Everybody than what it was. Everybody else was blowing it up. Y'all, y'all hear that out there? Cause, <laughs> yeah. Cause like I say, before was, we was podcasters we was fans yeah you know what i'm saying it's like shit like i i, I was sitting there, i was the other night I was, I was on my own time and i was just chilling man i was like man it's really kind of dope for a nigga to be able to sit down with niggas that i looked up to you know yeah. what i'm saying at a different point of time in my life you know what i'm saying just looking at these cats and really be able to sit down and have a conversation when i was listening to music and i had a question but i'm just a fan at that point, yeah. I can't even sit down. So it's like the, the podcast, the throw in the game podcast is special, man, for that particular reason. But because before we was podcasters, yeah. we was fans. You know, Face used to live with me and my mama. Yeah. Did y'all know that? Didn't no, know that. Didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, the album cover, uh, that, that, you see, y'all seen the album cover that we done? The top hat? No, the album cover with me and Scarface. Y'all ain't never seen our album cover with all of us sitting on the car? Me, 3 2, Def Jam Blaster, all of them used to be signed to me. Back in the day. There it is right there. There it is right there. Hey, I promise. Right there. Right, this one. Yeah, right there. I, they were all signed to me. On the drive over here, three, I was two, sitting two. there thinking three, about two. I was thinking about 3-2, man. Beto. Beto. Yeah. Beto. All of them were signed to me. They used to all be with me and my record company you know, back in the day. Yeah. I was just they, thinking They were all that. with me. Their face sitting in the front with the white shirt on. There's me next to him. 3-2. Over to the left over here. Yeah. Def Jam right Blaster there. behind him. Def Jam Blaster behind him. And Beto all the way in the back, on the, on the right-hand side. And this on the south side. Yeah, that's in the dead end. It's in the dead end. Yeah. Yeah. 
I never you see what I'm saying? So he stayed with me and my mama. You know what I'm saying? It was like I never seen this album cover. Yeah, I used to sell that album cover right there. That's a classic. Look at that. That's a classic right there. Goddamn me. Sitting on my Cadillac back then. Goddamn me. It's elbows on and them, elbows, though. That, look, on them things. It don't elbows and elbows now. Yeah. It, it wasn't no good Ralph next back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regular elbows, 83s, 84s. You know, I, I seen a nigga three, four days ago. It was kind of ridiculous to me, but if that's what nigga wanted. Nigga, I said his head, nigga had to at least have two and a half feet. <laughs> Oh, they do them old super nigga, monster pokers. Nigga, I'm talking about two and a half feet yeah, out there. I, I say, they, they, they were gi say, giraffe God. necks. Damn, this is my yeah. lawn in the motherfucker, yeah. dog. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? That's where it started. At. Then After he did that song with me, then Lil J went. Wait, what year was that? That was 88. Then I put out 88, 89 right then. Lil J wanted him to be the new ghetto boy. So, Jay came over and talked to me about him being the new ghetto boy. And uh, I said, Jay, shit, you can have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so I'm making so much money in the streets. I don't give a damn about no rapper right now. You know what I'm saying? So Jay took me, and, and, and they did it. Jay said, Troy, when I make it, I look out for you. Do whatever you need me to do. I look out for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put all my money is into this new Ghetto Boys album. Hmm, man. Back then, yeah. <laughs> so it ain't, it ain't never been no... The yeah. streets made it more than what it really, really was. You know what I'm saying? Between all of us back then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So but, with Pimp, but, but with Pimp, you never really knew why he was... I don't know why he even started... I know Pimp when them, I, see, look, I know Pimp them from Port Arthur. I used to hustle in Port Arthur. Yeah. I know them, been knowing them, him, I've been knowing them since they were young. I know him. Pimp used to call himself, uh.